Hello and welcome to this ET Now special. I'm Nantara Rai. Baiju's is the world's most valuable edtech startup, which has been in the news for many wrong reasons of late. Well, Baiju's today has announced that it's teaming up with perhaps the most popular, one of the richest athletes on this planet, one of the, definitely one of the most talented, uh, Lionel Messi of Argentina, who played all his life for Barcelona uh, before switching teams. He is going to be a brand ambassador for Baiju's. But this is not, by, according to Baiju's, a regular endorsement deal or a sponsorship deal. Lionel Messi is going to be the global brand ambassador for Baiju's social initiative called Education for All. The point is that Baiju's, like I said in the introduction, has been in the news for all the wrong reasons, whether it is a delay in audited results, to losses ballooning 20x to over 4,500 crore rupees, to mass layoffs of 5% of the workforce. How much is it spending on this deal? Why is it even spending any money at all on Lionel Messi? Let's find that and more with Devya Gokulnath, the co-founder at Baiju's. This is, ladies and gentlemen, Baiju's first television interview in a long, long time. Divya, thank you for choosing ET Now. Thank you for giving us time today. So let's get straight down to it. The news trigger, of course, is this uh, big announcement where we're going to see Lionel Messi promote Baiju's and the social initiative Education for All. Tell us more about it. And of course, the timing is certainly very interesting. Bang in the middle of a lot of headlines not going your way. No, thank you, Nayantara, for uh, choosing to focus on education for all, right? If you ask me, that was the main reason that we wanted to have someone like Messi espouse our cause. Uh, and I'll be very frank with you, right? Education for all is, is an initiative which is very close to both Baiju and my heart. Over the last 18 months, we have uh, impacted 5.5 million children from the remotest parts of the countries, children who don't have access to even basic education. And this initiative is something that we wanted to grow. We wanted to become a global initiative. Uh, and who better than Messi, who is, who is someone who is also equally passionate about education, someone who has, has grown up, has been a self-made man, somebody who... Uh, who, be, who believes as much as we do that sport and education go hand in hand to create a holistic future for a child. And so that's why we decided to partner with him. And this is something which, uh, you know, we, we feel will be able to educate and uh, allow so many more people to participate and be part of this revolution, which is creating so much impact and change at the ground level. Now, Divya, you know, like I said, Lionel Messi, one of the most famous superstars on this planet. When Baiju's teams up with Lionel Messi at a time when all the headlines are not in your favor, whether it is results that are delayed, whether it is the fact that you're going to have to lay off 2,500 employees, to the fact Baiju Ravindran had to write a letter to employees, an apologetic emotional letter, don't you think the optics are all wrong right now? The timing is all wrong? Because if your interest is actually education for all, the timing could have been better. Okay, so let's just take one step back and I'll answer your question, right? Like if you look at uh, at why why is it that today's Messi's announcement partnering education for all, uh, making all the headlines? And the fact is, it's sad that it, it has to be a Messi coming on board to give voice to education for all. Uh, Nantara, if you looked at my LinkedIn post even yesterday, I spoke about education for all. And I spoke about it uh, because it was it was a big partnership with the Andhra Pradesh government where we empowered 30 lakh students and 2 lakh teachers. It is one of our biggest initiatives in education for all. Nobody picked it up, right? Uh, it, it is an ongoing thing, education for all. In fact, we continuously speak about the work that we've been doing uh, over the last few months. So it's not that we are announcing this today. Education for all has been something that we've always been speaking about. A company always has, has two things, right? There is business and then there is beyond business. Beyond business is where there is community, where there is impact, where you, where you give back to society at large. The fact is both of these tracks were running in parallel. It's just that you know, media has always chosen to focus on the business part, right? But there's always been a very successful, highly impactful, not for business, uh, beyond business uh, initiative, which has been running 
equally successfully. I take your point, but you know, you're saying it was running parallelly and that you know, you yesterday also you posted on LinkedIn and nobody picked it up. But if, you are, if your intention is to actually have education for all and to make a difference, why are you bothered if anybody's picking it up or not? Why do you need a Lionel Messi to pick it up? Just do the good. We are doing the good, right? But sometimes you need more participation to make something more successful. Today, it's important that there are, so I'll just give you an example of what we're doing in Education for All. We have a give initiative where anybody can contribute a device. We load it with Baiju's content and we give it for free. In the last three hours, the amount of attention Education for All has received, it hasn't received that in the last 18 months. It's saddening. It's anguishing. And I'm telling you this, I can tell you this. But it's just that, you know, and an initiative like this will never be successful until so many more people are involved in giving back to society. And there's huge potential and we can do this together. But you, you, need, you need the same visibility for it. And it clearly shows that if the right person, the right ambassador is there to take that message out for you, it becomes even, even more successful. So this is not about, uh, you know, whether somebody writes about us or not. It is about, can we get, can we make this platform even more successful? Can we make this initiative even more successful? Can we have more people participating in it? And, and because it's, it's ultimately something where the more the more we do it, the better it gets, right? So this at scale can create even more impact. It's education that we are talking about at the end of it. So frankly, even I'm not bothered about who writes it, who doesn't, but it's 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 just that the attention it deserves, it doesn't get. And today it has gotten it at last. And I'm with you. I mean, someone is bright, young journalist like you, even you didn't uh, speak about Andhra, right? Yesterday, nobody did, right? I'm not, I'm not talking about you alone. And I gave Andhra as an example. Uh, even one month back, we did speak about how it's giving better learning outcomes. We are in partnership with Niti Aayog. We're in the remotest parts of the country with EFA. We've grown from 3.5 million children that we're benefiting to 5.5 million children today. You introduced us, even today you introduced us as the world's most uh, valuable ed tech company. But in that introduction, there is no mention of education for all because see, ultimately, valuations can come and go, but values are forever. Value creation is forever. You're saying values are forever. So once again, I come back to one point, Divya, because you used two words right now in the previous answer. You used the words saddening and anguishing, right? Are your employees today saddened and anguished that Baiju's is willing to go out, make an effort, and it must have taken a long time and a lot of money to sign up Lionel Messi. He's the world's most expensive player, according to Forbes, in the year 2022. How are you explaining this to your employees? How are you explaining this also to the employees, 2,500 employees who have been asked to go, will be asked to go in the days to come? Yeah, so you introduced Messi also as the world's most expensive footballer. And I should also tell you that he's also the humblest, the one who values education a lot, right? So if you, if you actually think about it from the other angle, Messi can choose to partner with multiple brands. But he did with Baiju's. He did with an Indian company because he believed in our cause and in our mission that we can enhance human potential. And education is a big enabler to enhance human potential, right? Now, I would reiterate that this is not a normal sponsorship or normal, you know, partnership. This is a social impact partnership. And here it is about uh, coming together and adding more value to each other. And, and the values that three of us, like it would be Messi, Baiju and me, that we share in terms of what we think about education, we think about development, we think about children, we think about future. It's exactly the same. And speaking about the rationalization, right, that we had to do, it was the toughest decision for both Baiju and me to take for the company and we've all we've spoken about it i know how much ever we say and we apologize it's not enough it would be the last thing that we would want to do but sometimes what baiju and divya want is not what baiju's as a company demands right we we did it because this would help us move towards our path to profitability uh, by the fourth quarter of this year certain steps had to be taken and hence it was taken. It was taken keeping multiple, uh, you know, viewpoints in mind. It was it was kept keeping the larger business perspective in mind. Uh, but today I don't want to focus on that, Nayantara, because I know that the reason you got me on call is because you wanted to focus on EFA. And I'm grateful that you felt that EFA was a subject that, that deserves to be spoken about. A uh, messy or no messy, right? Uh, you agree with me. It's messy but or no messy. The point also is... 
But if, you know, if education for all is indeed going to be where you and Baiju Ravindran are dreaming for it to be, your core has to be strong, has to be rock solid, right? Uh, whether you talk about it in exercise, whether we talk that about it in any way, you know, you teach that as well, that your foundation, your core has to be really strong. And I would imagine that foundation and core has to be the business itself, the core business in this sense that you can also devote more attention to education for all. So in a way, the two might be intertwined. So I take it, and like you said, no amount of apology is going to be enough. But can you well, also and, and Nantara, to me when you core is strongest. And if I may add, Nantara, the core is very strong, right? So if you look at if you look at this, so while I know that rationalization is one aspect of this path to profitability, there is also realigning of marketing expenses. There is also reduction of operational costs. So there are it's a three-step uh, you know plan or a three-step approach that will help us and it it and over there only because the core is strong can we continue with the same revenue run rate of thousand crores per month while ensuring that we are going towards profitability that will not happen unless your core is strong that will not happen unless you're confident on the new model that you're scaling where we have launched 250 hybrid learning centers across the country brick and mortar where children can learn both online and offline and both akash and great learning our subsidiaries are scaling ever than better than ever before so the core is definitely strong uh, and and we have been speaking about our business numbers as well but for today like i said i request that we we you know stick to the topic of efa yes I, I, you know, and we did say that, and you know, you have promised me another interview on the business of uh, what's happening at Baiju's uh, with your husband and your co-founder Baiju Ravindran. I'm very, very, uh, I'm looking forward to that because even the public wants to have a lot of questions. But can I also ask you, while we talk about Lionel Messi, education for all, um, the fact is that your sponsorship for FIFA and the announcement made today is in the run-up to the World Cup uh, kicking off on 20th of November. Why did you guys never think about maybe renegotiating with FIFA? You already have many other sports properties, right? You're on the jerseys of the Indian cricket team. Uh, you've had associations with the Indian cricket team now since Oppo left. You didn't want to leverage what you already had as opposed to maybe spending more or more energies? How do you know that we've not? <laughs> I'm assuming nothing has been announced. So I'm just I'm just asking you how do you know that we've not that's it. <laughs> so we there are going to be so more things that will be in the running. It's multiple things. See, it's today the 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 beauty of it, football is the beauty of football is something that you can experience through the magic of Messi, right? Football as a game. I mean, it's it's highly adored by everybody across the country, and and there is it's city or village, boy or girl. India or Isle of Man, right? Like it, it could be anywhere. It's Messi as a player, Messi as a person, he's highly admired. So it's, uh, I mean, it, it and it, it all, it's, it's for us sports, and we've always maintained that sports and education they go very closely hand in hand. It could be cricket, football, and 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 Nantara, you should know that we have all like we have Virat Kohli as our brand ambassador, right? We have PV Sindhu as our brand ambassador. We have Neeraj Chopra as our brand ambassador. We are strong believers in sport as we are in education, and these are the ambassadors who are now taking our mission and our values forward in terms of helping India understand that we need to give students that sort of holistic growth uh, by blending the best of both. And that's when you're creating a good future for them. Fair point. And that's exactly what I was asking. So can we also see this maybe as um, Baiju's signaling that yes, it's from India with global ambitions. You are already in America. You're already in Latin America. We saw all those acquisitions that were made for that effect as well. Then now your marketing spends, your brand growth, your brand awareness, marketing spends is all going to be more global than India? It has to be both. It's about realigning the marketing strategy in India, right? It's about, see, today people, we're fortunate to have good awareness as a company. Now, 
but we've also enhanced our product offerings. We also now offer multiple formats of learning uh, where we put flexibility First, we give the student the choice of where they want to learn, how fast they want to learn, how much they want to learn. Uh, so it's all about putting the student in the driver's seat. And as a company, we have increased both the breadth of our offerings and the depth of our offerings, which, which means that you're creating more value for the learner. So there is a continuous need to inform, to educate, to help students understand that these are the new options available to them. Because it's changed a lot in the post-pandemic world. Uh, you know, and, and we always speak about the future of learning. It's neither going to be completely online or offline. It's always the blended format, which is going to give you the best returns, the best outcomes for students. So, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, Lionel Messi is, of course, also Argentina's uh, uh, captain. He's a massive following, like I said, you know, one of the most recognized people on this planet. What are you, how long is this contract for? Because, you know, you're saying it's for your social impact arm. So is it multi-year? Is it only for the duration of the World Cup? How is it going to work? Are you going to create videos for Lionel Messi's uh, charity? Because you made it a point to say that it's not a typical endorsement deal and you're not spending big bucks. Are you spending anything? Yeah, so see, we are going to measure the returns of this by the number of lives we touch and the lives we better and the futures we enable, right? So like, and I, if if you ask me, there is so much more that we can do together by partnering with uh, foundations like his, where he can also add value and we can also add value uh, to what each other are doing. Now, and if you, and you rightly said, right, Messi, Messi belongs to the nearly 4 billion football fans in the world. He's a country in his own right. So if anything, he's blurring boundaries. He's making the world equally love, uh, be it football, be it sport, or be it, be it that mission that he's after. You know, it could be boy or girl, city or village, India or Isle of Han, everywhere. Are you going to bring him to India? Is that part of the deal? If you want, we could. <laughs> I want. Are you going to bring him to India? <laughs> Many people will want. <laughs> is it part of the so deal? you, is, is you would ever deal? forget September 2nd 2011 right like it's it's still there we all remember that one match that he came and played in in Calcutta I know I went there to watch him and I still mm -hmm. remember it it's so vivid in our mind so it's the love that he has as a player is it's so much that it can create like it can create someone who can it's it's simple right for us we we wanted someone who who believes in education and the and the potential of education as strongly as we did so but, and he he also you know i i would want to say that he saw that in us which is why he chose to partner with us and likewise and uh, it's uh, like if you ask me, it's, uh, we would love to bring him to India. We would love to host him in India, but it's not a promise. But we'll try to make it happen because this is, if anything, this you're saying, and from what Rubia, I've seen, one gets the sense that this is a, uh, this is two 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 sides coming together for the betterment of education. That it's a passion project for you, and it's also a passion project for Lionel Messi. Does that mean what? And I ask you this again because I'm sure a lot of employees will ask you this. So investors are going to be asking you this. So there's very little money exchange. It's just for the cost of the content that's going to be created. The, the, it's going to be social impact. Because, you know, his last See, endorsement what? deal that has publicly known See, is for socios, which is $20 million yearly. See, all I can tell you is that it's not a typical sponsorship. It's a social impact partnership. Okay, that's all that I can tell you right now. Now, uh, it, but uh, it's uh, so if if it's, like I said, see you. There are certain partnerships which happen. It's everything is not a business deal, right? Everything is not a business partnership. There are uh, th there is there is a value alignment. There is a personality alignment. Uh, there is a mission alignment which needs to happen when two entities come together and work. And it's same for even our subsidiaries, or I would not even call them acquisitions. I call all of them partnerships. Uh, be it what we have with Akash, with Epic, with Tinker, with Osmo, all our brands. All of us have come together and what is the result of it? The power of compounding founder mentality. Everybody is growing stronger, better. So far, it's working really well for most of our subsidiaries. Now, like this, if you ask me, this is the strength which is there when you have people who are similarly aligned who come on board and work with you. I mean, we've just started on this journey. Now, to see the impact, it will take time. I mean, I can already see the impact in the last four hours. 
we have 175 ngos already registered with us who partnered with us who are taking the the the, the initiative of education for all forward but just over the last few hours, we have flooded with so many inquiries of so many more NGOs who want to partner with us. We're already working with state governments and, and we're we are touching so many students' lives. We are helping them learn better. We have seen a, we've seen a big improvement in their academic outcomes. So it, this is a story which will just only take off now. But everything you'll have to give it time, right? Education is, again, something which you don't see a return on investment in one day. It takes years. So again, like I would like to reiterate that it's starting off, the partnership is starting off, you would start to see the impact, but like it is in education, education is something that you need to be patient about to see the impact which comes. So education for all, the social uh, impact arm of Baiju's, where you're trying to really touch more than five and a half million lives. Divya, how is it funded? Is it, is it, is it done by Baiju's itself? Is it crowdsourced? Talk to us a bit more about that because, you know, I'm sure the public will also want to understand that. Yes. So like, okay, let's AFA education for all was a social initiative that we launched about 18 months ago. And we wanted to solve this trilemma of cost, quality and scale. Right. So we wanted to ensure that we're able to scale something, uh, scale good education, low cost, but how can we make it reach all over? How can we make it give it scale? So for that, what we did is we made our learning content available for free because when we are able to distribute that same content to anyone uh, anywhere they are able to learn from the same high quality teachers now the devices which come now they could they could either some some of them are self funded some of them come from ngos and now there are also state governments involved so the mode i mean it's it's just a learning app so ultimately, even a basic smartphone would suffice. So we have even people coming together. So for example, we have a Lead Her initiative, HER initiative in the company where an employee gets to nominate a girl child to go ahead and learn with EFA. Half our beneficiaries are girls. So these are the numbers that we are seeing over the last 18, 24 months where we're able to uh, impact better the lives of so many children. We aim to touch the lives of at least 10 million or one crore by 2025. I'm very, very confident that we'll achieve that, uh, you know, well before. A lot of people ask me what, you know, what is uh, what is break even? Break even for me is when for every paid student, there is one student learning with us for free. And I'm sure that's going to happen sooner than what we've expected. Okay, so that's the goal you have. And uh, Divya Kokolnath, I know it's a big day for you. I'm grateful that you give us some time and also to reach out to our audience to talk to us. What is certainly going to be a very milestone a uh, deal for you signing up uh, Lionel Messi can make out you're a super fan as well uh, thank you for setting the record straight you know I started the interview by saying that there are concerns are the optics right is the timing right so thank you for taking those questions and once again uh, thank you for agreeing to that big interview with you and Vaiju Ravindran on the business side of Vaiju's uh, the many questions that are being asked as well I know there might be another fundraise we're all waiting for that to close and then see you back here on ET now Thank you, Nantara, for giving a voice to EFA. Thank you.